Okay, so we've all heard it. We've heard it from creationists and normal people alike. The claim that the universe needs a cause. And often, when forced with this nothing-can-come-from-nothing attempted refutation of the Big Bang, I see most people respond correctly. No, I would never said it did. The Big Bang doesn't talk about that. It only matters once a singularity was there and expanded. I myself like to use another analogy. Notice the cat on the bed. Our evidence clearly indicates the cat was on the bed. But what led up to the cat being there? We don't know. It could have jumped on by itself, or been placed there by an external force, or even born there. We simply don't know. It doesn't change the fact that the cat was on the bed. Regardless, there is still something fundamentally wrong about the concept. It's irrelevant that no one, myself included, says that the universe came from nothing because the statement nothing can come from nothing is inherently flawed. So let's see why. What is it that makes people assert that nothing can come from nothing? Well, clearly because nothing in our universe does come from nothing. Or does it? Well, no, something can come from nothing. Quantum fluctuations. As it turns out, due to the uncertainty principle on remarkably small timescales, you can get rather large energy uncertainty. So large, in fact, that if you have two low-energy photons, you can get a measurable electron wave function from literally nothing. So why is it we still don't see things appearing from nothing? Well, remember that it's related to timescale. It's possible to get something from nothing, just not for very long. But we don't need it for very long. The statement isn't, you can't get something from nothing over extended periods of time. Simply showing quantum fluctuations do exist is enough to invalidate the claim within the universe. But allow us to assume for a second that we don't know that, and that the claim is still valid within the universe. Can we then say that we can't get something from nothing, and thus a singularity needed a cause? Would I ask a question if the answer was yes? Think for a moment about what that's asking. There needs to be something before the Big Bang, but the Big Bang is defined as the origin of time. Time isn't all that special, it's another dimension. So somehow you're trying to describe a universe of time t equals negative in a space-time of zero dimensions. Such a point simply does not exist. Or to use Stephen Hawking's famous quote, Try meeting a penguin north of the North Pole. I'll just take a compass to the magnetic North Pole. No direction would be north. We can represent the universe using a four-dimensional metric with one dimension being time. Given that the Big Bang requires a zero-dimensional singularity, there exists no time coordinate. Talking about time is as meaningless as about talking about space. Try to find the distance between two points when there aren't two points to begin with. Talking about pre-Big Bang makes remarkably little sense. The question shouldn't be what caused the Big Bang, but rather, how can we even ask about a time before time? But for a moment, let's suspend that knowledge as well. Let's assume that we can ask about a time pre-Big Bang, that it wasn't a true singularity and we still have a time coordinate. So then, assuming that we can talk about pre-Big Bang, and assuming quantum fluctuations don't exist, can we use this knowledge to finally validate nothing can come from nothing? Nope. The statement still fails. You're applying physics within the universe to the universe itself. This is invalid. You may say to me, this is a cop-out, you're just saying the rules don't apply, but it's fairly trivial to show why they don't apply. You're looking at a more proper version of Einstein's famous equation, E equals gamma mc squared. Well, with objects having mass, gamma blows up to infinity as the relative velocity approaches c. It's impossible to accelerate an object through space at the speed of light because it requires an infinite amount of energy, but the universe is not forced to abide by such rules. I direct you to cosmic inflation, a period shortly after the Big Bang where the universe itself expanded at a rate far, far faster than light. While nothing within the universe may move through space faster than light, the universe itself isn't held up to the same standards. Why should it? The universe and its properties can enforce the rules within itself, but how does it act upon itself? How can it enforce the same rules that apply within itself? There's no way to legitimately claim that the universe is bound to its own internal rules. So, picture for a moment the universe didn't exist. What's to prevent it from poofing into existence, as there's nothing to enforce any rules? Even if we accept the basic premise, that there's a time before time and nothing within the universe can truly come from nothing, we're still left with the problem of being unable to apply those rules. 
Really, you would have to presuppose a multiverse or something to enforce the rules. But if that multiverse or something doesn't exist, you really can't say that nothing can come from nothing. Once again, I'm not saying the universe did just poof into existence, but I'm most certainly saying that we can't simply say nothing can come from nothing, thus the universe needs a cause. This is brazen intellectual dishonesty. I would rather simply say, we don't know about any time before the Big Bang. Nothing indicates such a question makes sense. But if there was a time before the Big Bang, then anything could have created the universe. We simply don't know and can't comment. It's a hell of a lot more honest than nothing can come from nothing. No one said it did, but that doesn't mean it can't.